We're having another funeral, I think. One of my teammates who got killed, he played football with me. I think this is funeral coming by. Man, it's just, it's just crazy. I seen caskets this big. I, I seen caskets that's what you care, that'll make you, you know what I'm saying, that'll make you cry. It's just the two kids, one, one kid, little Merv, who got shot up over here, but Merv was 10. I went to his weight, they had a, because he liked the net like uh, cars, the movie, he had a cars casket. It was just so sad, man. I'm like, the kid was young, he's a baby still. My first meeting with Demetrius was him asking permission to go speak to children. That was the very first meeting. He was talking about the gang violence in his neighborhood. And he said he felt the best way to uh, curtail that was to talk to them about other options. We're talking about 10, 11, and 12 year olds making a decision um, to skip school, to join a gang versus staying in school. I believe kids, they, they choose who they listen to. And I feel like I have a voice because I play, I'm an athlete, student athlete, and they can trust me because I'm from where they're from. I've been through what they've been through. So they can trust me and I feel like I can save some of these lost kids, you understand what I'm saying? Through football and through my platform. You say a lot of bad things that happen over here, a lot of shootings, the killings, uh, the, the, pro the poverty. Uh, but this, you know, it's a great, it's a great uh, community, it's a great community. My grandmother walked with Dr. King over here before, on 3rd Avenue. This is a young man who innately cares about his community. He picked attending the University of Miami. He was a highly recruited student athlete, but he wanted to stay home so he could have this quality education, but to be able to go back into his community and give back. And he knew that really going in early in his recruiting process. So that was our first meeting, asking me how will he be allowed to give back to his community. Man, this one, 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 this the way I carry myself, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, respect, uh, I show respect for my, I show respect for the old people in my community. Uh, I carry myself with pride, dignity. I don't uh, be out here doing all this drinking and all these things like disrespecting myself because you have to respect yourself for someone else to respect you. I could easily want to left, you know what I'm saying? I have cousins right now that's in jail for murder. I have so much and I, I ask myself the same thing. Why me, you understand what I'm saying? Like, why am I on this road and they, on the road they are, the road they on. I think a lot of people, especially in my community, because it takes a village to raise a child, especially where we're from. They make a decision that they're going to be different. And he's made a personal choice that while he still respects and loves his family and friends in that area, he's made a choice that he's going to help who he can, but he's not going to stand on a street corner year after year after year and Stay in that he wants to uplift that community. How you doing, mama? You all right? I do a lot of my stuff with the kids and stuff out here. When you get in, when you get in there, you go see how really great it is. When you get in there, when you go inside and stuff like that. Look, cool. You all right? All right. Look, right. bro. You think all right? You think okay? There you go. Well, I feel like if you got a lot of places like this built up over town. A lot of stuff ain't gonna happen. Just not over town, Liberty City, all that. A lot of violence and stuff ain't gonna happen. If you ain't got this build up, all kids gonna do is just roam the street during the summer. Roam, they could be playing sports. Huh? Hey, boy, you wanna take a picture doing it? Come on, boy, like that. Now, that, that's live. How you doing? You doing it, you? Yeah. That's live, boy. Go to the camera. Throw your tools up. <laughs> I know if I can do it out of everything that I've been through, single mom, grandmother, and dad passing away a day before each other, I know they can do it. And they don't have to do it by themselves. That's one thing I tell them. They can lean on me. If they need something, I'm here, no matter what it is. Cause I, trust me, I know what it's like uh, going through the struggles and stuff. I went through lights being getting cut off. Sometimes no food in the refrigerator. But I never saw my mom complain 
and she set an example for me, so I can help you. I want to help you. I want, I want to be bigger. I want you to do something. I want to save your life so you can save another kid's life. I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional, but there's just so much going on in our community. And I feel people need to step up and try to take action. You know what I'm saying? To save these kids' lives. Because they dropping every weekend. Like We just had one just drop uh, yesterday. Yeah. I, it, it, it brings tears to my eyes, you know, to know that these kids are being killed at a rate that they are, and there's no love being shown to these kids to keep them out of the streets. So yeah. I believe he bought into what his family values were early, and he then made a choice as a young man, I'm going down this road, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to bring somebody else along with me. Everything that he has put his mind to do, he's done. Everything. So I don't know if there is a limit for Demetrius Jackson. I, I think when you have somebody who is so grounded, so intelligent, and so driven, I don't know if there is a woman, and I hope there isn't.